Hello everybody. I am back at you today with another new little review of mine. We're going to be talking about the Furious FPV Duck King. This external port right here, which will allow you in the future to tether multiple Duck King ground stations together. So you can go around trees like that back there, maybe buildings, whatever you want. Uh, something else that this has is a, uh, a built-in lap timer that works, works off of your RSSI signal. Uh, also, I guess I should show you here, it's magnetic, which is kind of cool. You could just clip it to anything, anything that's uh, uh, iron or, I believe, nickel, and it'll stick right to it, which is really nice. Uh, the front of it here, get it out in the sun here for you. So it looks just like your regular old True D module. And uh, I'm almost positive that this is running uh, firmware 3.7, I believe, which has those new features built in. So uh, I'll double check that later. And uh, if it's wrong, I will fix that later on in the video. But for right now, let's give this thing a blast. Uh, just look for the DVR footage and we'll see how clear this thing actually is. Okay, I slowed this down a bit so I could chat. So take a look here. Uh, on the upper right hand corner you see that arrow that's actually where the lap timer is going to basically start and stop that time so you can see right there uh, that's that's my uh, my signal strength that one this is 71 percent so i mess with it a little bit the threshold about 77 percent now here's the big thing guys you need to put the quad out at the gate that you want to be the timer uh, so if you want it to be a flag if you want it to be a second gate or a first gate whatever you can't set it right next to you and do this because it's gonna want to pass right next to you. So unless you want to fly directly over yourself, then don't power up the quad and get this set up right next to you. Uh, put it out where the, the timing gate is so you do not need, and I repeat, you do not need to put the, the dot king at the gate. It's not like a traditional timing system. You could put it right next to you, right where you're sitting down, and that threshold is going to allow you to, to move the sensitivity further and closer as needed. Uh, so this isn't going to be a, a perfectly accurate reading every time, but it's it's perfect for if you want to just get some some base run lap times on a spot. You know, say you go to a, a bando or something, and you want to just go out and just make a little racetrack out of it. Make you maybe you can make your own little universal time trial course, and and you know go back to the same spot without any gates or whatever, and, and run the same course and with new gear and see where you sit. So uh, again, uh, just put your put your Dot King right next to where you're going to be flying from. It does not need to be at the gate. All right, so here we go. Uh, I got the little uh, the lady there that kind of signals the start of the race. So you can see here as a takeoff, bam! It's uh, that little heart means that it's uh, it's captured that that uh, that threshold. And now I'm on my first lap, so uh, I made a little race course here on the fly, uh, getting my Min Chan Johnny FPV, whatever you want to call it, that little pop on, <laughs> and uh, I was trying really hard not to crash because it was kind of windy, but whatever. Uh, so you can see there, it, it, it prematurely picked up that lap right there. It was uh, that's that's just that threshold. So if I I'd have to lower it just a slight little bit, and I was going to do that, but it, it actually got the laps every single time after this. So again, this isn't you know. Obviously, isn't a, isn't a timing system that you would use, you know, to accurately qualify pilots or and such. This is more just a personal lap timer that that you just have on you all the time. That you never have to take any extra gear to do little uh, personal lap times. So there you go. You can see a little heart go, and it got right there as I went through that 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 first gate. That's the start gate, and it, it captured it perfectly. Got a uh, 25 second lap on that one. So uh, the opener was. Uh, it looks like we got a 25 on the opener, and then a 28, but that was because it prematurely pick me up so uh, we'll see what it does here so right here there's the start finish bam see it got me perfect 23 1 uh, on to lap number four now I believe is what this is so again just trying to, to stay clean and get some good lap times now now pay attention to how clear the picture is so I didn't know this but I was talking I was talking with uh, Steve and there's actually an algorithm that's completely unique to the Dot King itself. There we go, catch it again. It's it's a uh, it's 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 very unique to the Dot King itself. So it, it actually has a much crisper uh, image, and that uh, that's so you'll notice. Like I saw it myself, I was kind of shocked because uh, 
the picture quality was much cleaner than what it is on my regular, uh, on my True D. So uh, the Dot King definitely performs better than your traditional uh, True D that's on your goggles. So yeah, this is the first time I got it, to, got it to work, so yeah, I'm kind of an idiot. I was celebrating, I was excited, ha ha ha. Uh, yeah, that's, I don't know what that is, but don't judge. But yeah, it, you saw, it works great, man. It does, it works great. So here you can go back and uh, I, went, I went to check out my results. So this shows me all of my laps. I got a 25, 28, 23, 22, 23, 27, pretty consistent. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's good data for you. So uh, yeah, this is just uh, in the results tab. And then after this, you can go back and start a new race, new practice session, new timer, or whatever you want. But yeah, it worked pretty good. Here, I'm just going to show you the main menu. So this is obviously the uh, you've got an LED strip here, auto lock, RSSI warning, settings for the Dot King, your screen OSD, lap timer. Uh, let's see here. I know I go into the uh, so yeah this has a built-in OSD so uh, say if you want to change your name you want some awesome uh, on-screen stuff it's really easy to do right here you don't need a, a, a flight controller or whatnot you can just do it right here this is kind of nice this is RSSI so this is going to show you your signal strength before you actually lose it and it'll warn you so there's a lot a lot of just a lot of details that you can configure here it's really nice I'm right, just going to finish off the day with just just a just a random run this is me on my Hawk 5 stock on 4 cell uh, I just wanted to post this up so you could just uh, take a, a peek at just how good the quality of video is. And you could, you, I, I'm sure all of you know that uh, DVR recordings usually have, uh, it's what seems to be a lot more breakup than, uh, than what you see actually while you're flying. I mean, a lot of times people ask me, holy crap, Sean, how'd you fly to that? And the video is not as bad as what it shows that's on the DVR. But you could see here, like even on the DVR, it is just crystal clear. And that's punching through all these trees. This is on 25 milliwatt. Uh, it's it, the the Dot King is uh, is for sure a, uh, a, a a force to be reckoned with as far as a uh, a mobile ground station. Uh, it's something that I uh, I'm glad that I that I had to the the uh, the ability to get a hold of and uh, and and share with you guys. Uh, so yeah, we'll just we'll talk about the track. So this little section here, I like to call an infinity an infinity corkscrew. So it's a, it's an infinity spiral. I'm sorry. An infinity spiral is what I'm calling that, so uh, look, look for that in the, uh, the future BMPR races, quite possibly. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can see here, video is just absolutely crystal clear. Uh, nothing special. It's a, it's a bone stock Hawk 5 with, its, uh, with the regular VTX that comes on the Hawk 5. Uh, yeah, it's kind of, kind of hard to deny that the performance of this, of this, uh, this ground station is, is pretty, pretty pretty amazing so yeah I, I highly recommend picking one up uh, I know they're for sale now there's lots of places I know uh, my boy Serge probably has a ton of them over at Pyro Flip RC uh, you can get them at, uh, at Furious FPV obviously and uh, I'm sure you can get there's 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 quite a few other, sp other spots out there I'm sorry that I can't remember them all off the top of my head but I'm sure you guys all have your favorite retailers to get them from so yeah I uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions comments or concerns post them up. Look at that landing. Yeah, buddy.